today's Sunny 95. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to thereasonswesmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 522. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you're one of my former Mix 107.9 and Rewind listeners and you're getting up early to enjoy the show at 7.30, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Tell your friends. Maybe they can join you as well. Today the show is going to be about a Facebook dental pain saga as well as what I promised you last week, uh, a topic, is dental insurance worth the cost? Okay? Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. If you would please go to my office Facebook page and like us, it's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at thereasonswesmile.com. And this week I figured out how to broadcast live on Facebook again. I I couldn't figure it out last week. And this week it was really hard also. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but sometimes the little word shows up and sometimes it doesn't. That's probably me, but I'll I'll get somebody to help me with that and we'll be just fine. Okay, so as I mentioned, oh, and before I forget, let me tell folks, we always do a Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Each week, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist, and the number to call, don't call now, but go ahead and pre-program it into your phone, is 614-459-9769, 614-459-9769. You can have that all ready. Try to make the questions easy, so that if you've tuned in at all, you're going to have the right answer. And to be honest, if you haven't tuned in, if you just tuned in, you can probably guess the answer. They're that easy, folks, <laughs> because I want to give away free flowers. I want to brighten your day, just like a smile brightens everybody's day, right? It's one of the quickest ways to brighten somebody's day is to smile at them. Okay, so let me just uh, tell you what I'm talking about when I say a Facebook pain saga. So I get this Facebook message from a friend of mine, and he was responding to a friend of his who had posted on her Facebook page, we're going to call her Lynn, and she had posted this graphic that said, there is nothing worse than having a toothache, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, I am in so much pain. Okay? And that's how she started it. So the first person, Mary, responds, prayers. The next uh, person, next friend, Ida, responds, prayers. The next person responds, ouch. The next one, that was Tammy, by the way, Dee Dee responds, I know this sounds crazy, but a couple years ago while I was in the mountains, I had the worst toothache miles from my dentist. An Indian lady in her 70s told me to find an onion, dice it, put a small piece of onion on the tooth and gum area and wait 15 minutes and the pain will be gone. (laughs) Now she claims, and it really works, or it really worked, it works. She said, antiseptic, you will be amazed. All right. So then the uh, person who posted the uh, original post, Lynn, she wrote back, thanks, I will try that. Then her friend Jim says, go see the dentist and feel better. Call Dr. Kavitko in Clintonville. He sees emergency patients, which I appreciate that Jim did that. And then the next post is uh, Linda types, feel better soon. Jane types, I'm with you on that. Then Sue types, Have you ever worked a 16-hour shift, basically running in high heels on concrete floors? I would rather have the toothache. Prayers. (laughs) Lynn writes, um, let's see, Lynn wrote back, uh, thank you. Okay, so she wrote back, thank you. And then um, Ken writes, our dentist in Gehanna is seeing new patients. The uh, person, Lynn, who wrote it initially, writes, what's his name? He writes back and gives her the name. She answers, thanks. Then Chris writes, 
I hope you feel better soon. Diane writes, I feel your pain. And then about 13 hours later, remember Lynn said she was going to call that guy, right? 13 hours later, she writes, I still have that tooth pain. This time, three exclamation marks. Okay? When will it end? Jim writes, did you call Dr. Kavitko? <laughs> Office in Clintonville and on Old Henderson Road. Uh, and then Sue writes, what if you're allergic to onions? <laughs> That's where it ended. Now, at some point, now I kind of expected to get a call from, from Lynn, uh, especially since she said, yeah, I'll call that guy. Well, she said she'd call the other dentist. Of course, 13 hours later, she didn't or hadn't. So I'm trying to figure out why, you know? So here it is. Uh, everybody knows there are dentists out there. Uh, she's been given the names of two. She was given my name twice by her friend Jim. And yet, 13 hours later, she's still in, in this terrible pain. So I decided to take the bulls by the horns, and I went ahead, and I don't know this woman, but I was uh, invited to be in the email chain because I was mentioned, and so I went ahead and entered, and I posted a thing that said something like, <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, Lynn, Dr. Kavitko here. I'd be happy to see you and eliminate your pain. I would have, uh, my phone number is 262-9588, 614 area code. If you call, my answering service will page me, and I'll call you back probably within five minutes. And if it weren't on Facebook, I would have given you my cell phone number. But I just didn't want that posted on Facebook. She writes back, thank you. Still no call. <laughs> so um, anyway, so then I reached out to my friend Jim, and I said, hey, do you know how to find this woman's phone number? Because I, I want to give her a call. I feel bad. She's in pain. And you know, one of the things I do, one of the favorite things I do is alleviate people's pain. I love taking care of people in that way. I feel like I'm always making people healthier and I'm always making them uh, able to smile better. But when you can take somebody who is just totally distraught, terrible pain, they can't think or do about anything else, and um, I can alleviate it, that's pretty powerful. And it's uh, very rewarding. So um, it took several hours because my friend uh, had an old phone number, a phone number from 20 years prior. But he was eventually able to reach his friend uh, uh, Lynn, and they talked, and he was nice enough to email me her phone number, and it was probably, by, it wasn't until like 7.30 last night that I actually noticed I had that. I think it took me 30 minutes to see he'd sent me that email. And then I'm thinking it's actually 7.48. Gee, is it even too late to call? But I went ahead and I called, and just so you know, my cell phone number comes up private, so I was pretty sure she wouldn't even answer. Um, but, it, but she did, and I told her who I was, and and uh, she said, well, thank you for calling. She goes, I kind of thought I might hear from you because my friend Jim had, uh, had called earlier. So um, we're going to actually see her tomorrow. To be honest, let me, know, let me tell you, I offered to see her last night. I said, Lynn, if you want, I'll meet you at the office and uh, I will uh, get you out of pain. And I said, um, what do you think of that? She goes, well, that sounds wonderful, but I don't know if tonight's going to work. <laughs> She goes, how about Monday? And um, I said, well, we can do that. So, but I did have a chance to speak with her about her pain and about um, how she was feeling and why she hadn't called me. So here's what she told me. And uh, in fact, you know what? Um, you know what? Let me go back to, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that when we come back from the break. But we're not going to go to the break now because I want to just reiterate. Remember some of the things people were telling her? They were telling her prayers. My prayers are with you. I feel your pain. Ouch. Um, you know, the kinds of things that are, it's nice to know that your friends and family care. None of those were making you, making her uh, uh, feel better, though. <laughs> None of them were actually getting her out of pain. And, um, and then don't forget about the one who said you should take an onion, dice it, and shove it in the, <laughs> in the, by the tooth and gum. That one, to me, that was kind of funny. So, well, you know what? I'll start telling you what she said. So, first of all, um, she went to another office. She went to a, uh, uh, an office in town that does the national advertising, one that you would, rec you would recognize. It starts with an A. And um, she had some fillings done about a year and a half ago, she said. Several fillings. And she said they very soon afterwards all started to fall out. So she's basically de dealing with the notion that I've already paid for these fillings and I don't want to have to pay again. And so she called that office and told them th this, and they said, well, we're going to charge you uh, $67 to come in and talk. 
And she, that really irritated her, that really upset her, because uh, she didn't feel like she should have to be charged just to talk about how, in her mind at least, the feelings they placed didn't last. She feels like they must have done a bad job. I don't know for sure, because I haven't seen her yet, and uh, she might be right, she might not, but, uh, but certainly if somebody's unhappy, it does to me feel unfair to charge them to talk about it. Um, so I don't know. You know, I've heard the reviews aren't really great, so I guess that's, um, uh, she's probably right. So the other thing is, is she's had some health issues, and she was also concerned about the notion that um, she'd been told by a general dentist, well, you have to go to a surgeon to be knocked out for this because the tooth was broken off at the gum line. And I said, so, Lynn, if I told you that, first of all, I do that sedation as well, excuse me, and secondly, I also take out all of the teeth. I, I can take out any tooth, including impacted wisdom teeth, so you wouldn't have to go to a surgeon. Would that matter? And she said, well, yeah, that would make a big difference. Uh, so she was kind of avoiding the two dentists in that list that she'd been given uh, suggestions for. She was kind of avoiding it because she knew she needed an extraction, thought it had to be done by an oral surgeon, and so she was just living with the pain. Now, why she hadn't called an oral surgeon? Well, I know why, because it, it was a weekend. That's right, she just assumed she wouldn't reach any of them. And although I've never tried, um, my guess is that none of them do work on a weekend, and so she probably would have gotten answering service and said call on Monday. Again, I'm guessing, but I just don't know of a... I know several oral surgeons, but I don't know any of them that uh, work on Saturdays or Sundays. So that's probably why she sat, you know, she sat tight. Cause she didn't, and the other thing is, is um, uh, her other health issues have caused her to, uh, to need um, narcotic pain control. And she's allergic to a lot of them. Um, since I've changed her name, I can, you know, I can tell you that without violating HIPAA. And I think I didn't tell you that, but Lynn is not her real name. And so she's also allergic to Percocet and allergic to Vicodin and allergic to some of the things that a general dentist like myself would prescribe for her uh, if I had worked on her, if I had taken a tooth out or done a root canal or something. So that's the reason she was sitting tight. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't, I just, I wasn't grasping this. And I'll tell you what, I talked to her about the business with the onion and I, uh, we're going to find out after the break if she actually tried the onion and if it worked. But uh, what we are going to do now is we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Remember I said you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. Um, we've already given you the number to call. If you want to pre-program it, I'll give it to you again at 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. But before we do the contest, the lawyers and all those other folks want you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household. Prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right, during this show, we've been speaking about a woman named Lynn who posted on Facebook how she had a very, very painful toothache. Which of the following were responses she received from her friends? A, prayers. B, ouch. C, feel better soon. D, you should place diced onions on the sore tooth. Or E, all of the above. All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers all in my office. 
And now, we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have four callers on the line. We have Sharon, Linda, Jay, and Stephanie. And the question was, which of the following were responses Lynn received from her friends when she posted how she had a terrible, terrible toothache? And let's go to line three, which would be Jay. Hey, Jay, how are you today? Good. Good, good. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. What is the answer to, the, to Dr. Kavitko's question? All of the above. All of the above is right. All right, guys. Well, hey, Jay, stay on the line. We need to get the uh, address where we can send you those flowers. And Sharon, Linda, and Stephanie, please call back next week. Awesome. Okay, so there, I'll give that back to my producer so we can get the information. So if you're just joining us, this is episode number 522 of The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are a former Mix 107.9 and Rewind listener, appreciate you tuning in. Okay, so now... Um, I said that when we came back from the break, we were going to talk about whether Lynn used the diced onion and put it on her teeth and gum. The answer is she did not. <laughs> in, my, in my post to her, I said, and by the way, I'll get you out of pain without using onions. <laughs> I don't want to try that. Uh, I just, I'm always amazed that people, who, that people tend to look for those kind of remedies before going to uh, a place like myself, a dental office like mine, where you know for a fact we're going to get you out of pain. And so then the topic turns to cost, all right? And so uh, because some of it is, well, I don't have a lot of money, I don't have dental insurance. And so you might remember last week I said we were going to talk about is dental insurance worth the cost? And so this was a perfect kind of a lead-in to that topic, which we're going to transition to right now, because Lynn um, doesn't have a lot of money, as it turns out, and was afraid that uh, this was going to cost her m too much money. And she did mention how when she got her fillings at the dental office that starts with A, that she uh, had some, she called it Genesis, <clears throat> some kind of a financing plan that she said had 21.5% interest. And she said she'd just gotten it paid off and didn't want to, uh, didn't want to um, um, do that again. So um, I actually told her I would take a look for free so that um, she wouldn't have that burden. She wouldn't have that concern. She could at least get in and get some advice and then uh, once we determine what treatment she needs then she will um, we'll talk about the cost and so on okay so that leads me to dental insurance because people who don't have insurance and that's about 40 percent of the population feel like if they don't have insurance they can't afford to go to the dentist let me remind people no one has car repair insurance and you all get your car fixed right no one has lawnmower repair insurance but you get your lawnmower fixed when it breaks right your computer breaks you get it fixed there's no insurance for that so uh, I think your body's more important than any of those things I just mentioned, and so you maybe need to try to rethink things a little bit. But let me tell you about a story. This was written by Amy Bergen. She wrote it in um, uh, last year. I do not know Amy, um, but uh, she wrote a nice little piece here, and I want to give her credit for it. So, you know, let's just uh, delve in. Having health insurance is a good idea. We all know that, but dental insurance is a little different. For some, it may not be as cost-efficient as we'd like. So make sure you, you ask yourself, is it worth it? Okay? Getting insurance seems like a no-brainer. Medical insurance, more often than not, saves you money in the short and long run. If your monthly premium is high, you'll pay a lower deductible and vice versa. Dental insurance works a little differently. There are pros and cons to purchasing a dental policy, either from your employer or from an insurance marketplace like healthcare.gov. In some cases, dental coverage won't save you money at all, even if you're getting dental care. How much does dental insurance cost? So on average, Americans pay about $360 a year or between about $15 to $50 a month for dental insurance. Costs will vary, vary depending on your state. Let me back up there, because I've said on this show many, many times, all you have to do, folks, is put about $35 to $40 away each month in an envelope and leave it sit for your dental care. If you do that, you're going to be fine. 
put more aside if you can, and guess what? That turns out to be right in the middle of this $15 to $50 that you're going to pay for the insurance. All right? Now, so remember that. We'll come back to it. Most plans come with a maximum annual benefit of an, or coverage limit. This limit actually falls between $1,000 and $2,000. And unlike medical insurance, which covers the cost of your bills um, uh, once you reach your deductible, dental insurance cuts off coverage after your bills reach the annual limit. You pay any additional cost out of pocket. So that's a big difference, right? Okay. Only 2 to 4% of Americans will exhaust their maximum benefit annually. So you may not exceed your coverage limit. It's more likely if you need a procedure like a root canal or a crown um, that you will. So think about it. They're only giving you 1000 to $2,000. And based on the way um, the coverage works, only about 2 to 4% actually manage to even get that 1000 or $2,000. So what does the monthly dental premium cover? Typical plan provides a level of coverage known as 180-50 coverage. 100-80-50 coverage. Preventative care, like exams, cleanings, and x-rays, you receive during an average check dental checkup are 100% covered. And de we dentists recommend cleanings twice annually. Basic procedures like fillings, extractions, and periodontal uh, care are usually covered in the 70 to 80% range. Major procedures like crowns, root canals, dentures, bridges, or implants are usually covered in the 50% range or less. And the or less is important because there's a lot of or less out there. There are variations in individual plans. For example, a root canal could be considered either a basic or a major procedure. Most plans allow you to purchase separate coverage for orthodontic care if it isn't already covered in the plan. Uh, fewer plans will cover cosmetic, cosmetic care like teeth whitening, and this is usually an out-of-pocket expense. I don't know of any plan that actually covers cosmetic care, which is unfortunate, but it's true. So dental plans emphasize preventative care or care before anything goes wrong. Preventative care may seem optional if you have healthy teeth and good oral hygiene, but it saves money in the long run. So Amy Bergen, the author of this information, uh, went, about, went without dental insurance for three years in her 20s and did what most of her peers did in that situation, simply didn't visit the dentist. Then she enrolled in a graduate program which required students to have medical and dental coverage. At her first dental visit, she had numerous cavities that they discovered. Getting them all filled required nine or ten appointments in the nine months of her academic year. Okay, so here's the, the takeaway from that, folks. She thought she was healthy, but she wasn't. She thought that she had no dental disease because nothing bothered her, and so she was just going about her life and her business thinking everything was fine, and it wasn't. Okay, now we're going to continue this because I see that we're about past due for our next commercial break. You are listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kovitko here on episode number 522, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am. Just a little bit This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi. I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? All right, we're back. This is episode number 522 of The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. I really appreciate you tuning in and joining me each week as we go through this journey of great dental health and beautiful smiles and giving people the reasons to smile, right? Okay, so let's go back to Amy. 
Amy could have paid the average of $360 a year for a dental policy in her 20s, or she could have paid out of pocket for two dental exams, including cleanings and x-rays, which in 2011 cost an average of $370 combined. In that case, dental insurance wouldn't have saved her uh, much money. What, 10 bucks? And if she'd gone to a dental school or a clinic for treatment, she could have saved even more out-of-pocket expenses. Even if dental coverage doesn't save you cash, it can be a good incentive to make you uh, go to those preventative care appointments. You're more likely to go to the dentist if you've already paid for the insurance. And a dollar spent on cleanings and x-rays can save 50 or more uh, of the time-consuming and pricey procedures in the future. So on one hand, it doesn't save her any money or very little. On the other hand, think about it, it could save you money. Just don't think of it as this panacea where I can't go to the dentist unless I have dental insurance. Those of you sitting at home and not going to the dentist, coming to me, for example, because you don't have dental insurance, in that instance, look, you would have saved 10 bucks. Okay? You can probably find another way in your, in your life, in your budget, to set aside, excuse me, $10, right? That shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I know everybody has different, uh, um, different budgets and all that. But uh, for something as important as staying healthy, and by the way, uh, keeping your mouth healthy relates to keeping your body healthy. I think that's been well established over the last 10, 15 years. Um, it's very, very important, okay? People die from tooth abscesses for one. You are more prone to having heart attacks and strokes if you have gum disease. Um, it's just uh, amazing, yeah, yeah. So I have to figure out how to wrap this up in the next three minutes to try to get you as much information about uh, whether this dental insurance is worth the cost. Uh, let me just um, mention here, so let me just kind of summarize. Is dental insurance worth it? That depends on your dental health and the plan you choose. With more extensive procedures, having insurance can help cover the high cost, but chances are you'll still be paying out of pocket for some of it, or in my experience, most of it. The best thing dental insurance can offer you is a safety net in case you end up needing these extensive procedures. However, that's not even true since they cut you off at $1,000. So I will say dental insurance is more like a, uh, a decent discount coupon. Okay? How much are you willing to pay for a discount coupon? Now, I oftentimes, go to, I oftentimes donate um, uh, prizes for these silent auction events, and oftentimes I'm buying gift packages at these silent auction events. And uh, you've probably done the same. And what you find is, tell me if I'm wrong, but you'll see that there is a gift basket or movie tickets or a weekend getaway, and it says uh, package value $200. All right? You are not going to pay over $200 for that, are you? In fact, you're probably not even going to bid it up to $200 because what's the use, right? I'm paying full price. Why should I do it here? Unless you really care about that charity that you're raising money for. All right? So what you're going to probably do is you're going to say, I'll pay up to $150 for this gift basket, then I'm getting a $50 discount, and the uh, charity is still getting $150 of my dollars, right? So think, put, that into, uh, uh, put that into play when it comes to your decision about dental insurance. So if I'm going to have to pay, and by the way, a lot of, uh, I know one gentleman was told he had to pay $100 a month for his dental insurance, and guess how much money they provided in a year? $1,000. <laughs> $1,000. So um, that wasn't going to make any sense for him, right? He'd be paying 1200 bucks a year and getting $1,000 back. So if you're going to, uh, if you're going to pay for dental insurance, to me, it feels like if the premium is less than, if your yearly premium is less than about 300 to $350, you'll be okay. If it's, if it's approaching $500, $700, well now, probably not, you know? And so you might just do what I said, put money aside. Don't worry so much about whether you have the, uh, the, uh, the, the insurance or not. Just go to the dentist when needed. Okay? So it looks like I am out of time. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Dr. Kavitko, and visit my office Facebook page, which is Dr. Kavitko and Associates, and like us. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko.
If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or send an email to speaking at the 